Okay, arithmetic sequences. Uh, this kind of is out of place, sort of, but it kind of also goes with the concept of functions and linear and whatnot. So students will be able to identify and extend patterns and sequences. A sequence is an ordered list of numbers that form a pattern. Term is each number in the sequence. An arithmetic sequence, you see the word arithmetic, arithmetic, is the difference between consecutive terms is a sequence in a sequence is constant. Okay, so we've got the same difference. The common difference is the difference between consecutive terms. Okay, so those are the definitions you need. Uh, describe a pattern in each se sequence. What are the next two terms? Okay, so what we see here is we see happening from one term to the next plus three. So that's the first first part. We describe it. What are the next two terms? 17 and 20. Okay. What do we see happening here? We see times 2. Okay. So then we would get 40 and 80. Okay. This one's just straight up. What's happening? Mm -hmm. What's happening? Okay. Now we get into the concept of determining if it's arithmetic or not. Okay. So we want to know, is it increasing by the same constant value? And if so, what is the common difference? If it's not, we're not going to find the common difference. Okay. So we look at this, 3 to 5, 3, 8, 8 to 13, 13 to 18, we have plus 5. So yes, it is arithmetic, and our common difference is plus 5. Okay, what's happening here? We go up 3, and then we go up 4, and then we go up 4. Well, we got a problem, because these are not all the same. They have to be constant. So this is not arithmetic. It is not arithmetic. Okay. Now we're going to get into what are two formulas. One's called recursive and one's called explicit. Okay. Uh, this first thing is the recursive formula. I think I just moved the whole thing. Okay, uh, the recursive formula. The recursive formula is a function that relates each term in a sequence to the terms before it. Okay, so the recursive formula helps us know what the next term is based on the terms that are in front of it. So what we need to do is we need to go through this annoying process. Okay, uh, step one is to recognize the first term in the sequence, and that's the number 70. This is always the first term. Then we recognize what's the second term, and it's going to be the first term plus 7. Then the third term would be the second term plus 7. The fourth term would be the third term plus 7. So you see how we're building this concept. Notice that to find the second term, we need to know the first term. To find the third term, we need the second, the fourth, to the third, and so on and so forth. So what it looks like is this. is It looks like a to the n, a of n is equal to a of n minus 1 plus 7. That means the previous term plus 7 will give us the term that we're talking about. That is the recursive formula. A of n is equal to A of n minus 1 plus 7. Remember this number right here, this value right here, represents the number before this one. That's why it's called recursive, because we're using the previous number to find the next number. And we know that A of 1 is equal to 7. Okay, so then it says, what is the value of the eighth term? So really all we have to do uh, 
you just continue the process. We had 91, so we get 98, 105, 112, 119. The value of the eighth term is 119. It's not really a helpful formula, but it does lead us to the explicit formula. Okay? So the recursive formula, you're going to notice something here, that this value is the common difference. Okay? So that's helpful. If we know the recursive formula, we can figure out everything else based on that. It's just we need to be told what is the first term. Okay. All right, let's try the, exp the, the recursive. Um, okay, so let's just look at A together. And if you want to practice one of these other ones, that's great. We have 3, 9, 15, 21, and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is the common difference is plus 6. Okay, so now here's a little bit of a shortcut. So A of N is equal to, oops, A of N minus 1 plus 3. Sorry. What am I doing? Plus 6. Because that's the common difference. That value goes right there. That's it. That's the recursive formula for that question. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong problem. Okay, so then, here's the problem. Now we need to know what's the ninth term. Okay. So this is just continuation. So if the fourth term is 21, fifth term would be 27, sixth term would be 33, then 39 for the seventh term, the eighth term would be 45, and the ninth term would be 51. So we would end up getting 51 as the ninth term. I have nothing here that tells me that that's right. All right. Sorry, I don't know. This is kind of weird. All right. Good enough. But that is right. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So I would suggest you try one of these other ones and see how it works. Notice that this one is decreasing. Okay. So that's kind of an interesting thing. We're adding a negative 9. This thing's doing it again. Alright, so we're adding a negative 9. So, recursive formula, plug it in. Okay, the explicit formula is a lot easier to use because it has the first term in it. Okay. So this is what we're looking for a of n, and what we need is we need to know the first term, we need to know the number of the term we're looking for, and we need to know the common difference. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this video up. Um, a, so we've got this whole thing here we've already talked about. Subway Pass has a starting value of $100. After one ride, the value of the pass is $98.25, so we lose a dollar seventy-five. Okay. After two rides, it's now ninety-six fifty, so that's another minus seventy-five. After three, it's ninety-four seventy-five. Okay, so this is D. This is A one. Okay, so we're gonna plug them in. So we have A of n is equal to 100. Now, this is, the value is getting smaller, so the part that's going to change is that right there. So we're going to have n minus 1 times negative 1.75. Okay. So we've got 
that is our explicit formula. Okay? The beginning value, in this case we're taking away the amount of money we're spending on the subway. So here's D times N minus 1. Okay? And then 15 rides, so we would plug in the 100. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Something stopped working. Okay, so we plug in the value of 15. So we work it out. Okay, and that gives us our final value, $75.50 is how much is left after 15 rides. Okay. I'm going to let you figure out how many rides can be taken with the $100 pass. I think that's a good thing for you to figure out. Okay, uh, and then the last one, here's the recursive formula. We know that the first sequence is this, so we're going to write the explicit. So uh, the first term is that one, so we want to figure out this is the D, so therefore I need to know D and I need to know A sub 1, or A of 1. So A sub N, A of N is equal to A of 1 plus N minus 1 times D. We plug them in, there's the explicit formula. A of N is equal to 19 plus N minus 1 times 12. Okay. We see the plus sign. It's a positive 12, so that's why it's increasing and whatnot. Okay? All right. Practice. Sorry it's long. It took like seven hours to make this video. So, see ya.